Hello friends, welcome back. In today's session, we are going to discuss one more trick. Okay. So this is specific to when we are uh, trying to import a jar file into any point studio as a packaged mule application. Okay. And uh, we see that, you know, uh, we see that error that saying the file does not contain any projects to import. Okay. So let me show you first that. Okay. So let's build the jar by using Maven. And this issue comes only when if builds via Maven. Okay. So let's go to the project. So I have one project. Let me go to that project. So for example, I have this project over here. Okay. So right now there is no target directory here. We'll go ahead and we'll build the jar via Maven first. And then we'll talk about the trick. Okay. So we'll first look at the issue and then we'll, we'll try to solve it. So I started my command line. So simply we'll say that, okay, MVN package. <clears throat> so it will build the jar. Let it build. Build successful. Let's go to our AnyPoint Studio. Let's try to import it as a packaged mule application. Okay, next. Let's go to the directory. So target directory and you'll find the jar over here. Let's try to select. See the error? The file does not contain any project to import. Okay. So the issue is, okay, this happens because Studio expect, you know, a certain project structure, okay, embedded within the jar file, okay. Applications which are packaged through Maven, uh, they won't have the proper structure, okay, unless, unless if you apply this trick, okay. So let's see what is the trick, okay. So first, we'll say cancel, okay. I don't want this way. Now let's go ahead and say, Okay, MVN package. So we'll clean this also previous one. So we'll say clean package and we pass one flag. Okay, so we'll say attach mule sources. The moment you say this, try to pass correct flag over here. Okay, minus D attach mule sources, M capital S capital. Go ahead and build this. Now, the, now this time the Maven will build the jar with the proper project structure. Okay, let's see. So now it's building the target folder. Okay, so you'll see the jar over here. Yeah, done. Let's go to studio again. Same steps will follow. Import package jar, go to the same target directory and this time select the jar. Now you don't see that error. If you go ahead and you, you know, if you say finish, it will import that project successfully. This is very useful when let's say you don't have access to a project, actual project and you have jar on your ready point uh, uh, platform runtime manager and you wanted to see what source code is actually deployed over there. Okay. So there are other manual steps. You can build the project. You can follow the steps and create that structure the way you see right on the screen. You can create main mule directory, then main Java resources, everything. And then you can, you can import the project. Okay. You have to export the jar, follow these steps, and uh, you can build the project. Okay. So once one step we did and we are able to do. So we pass this flag. If you don't want to pass this flag, what you can do? You can go to, so you can go to the pom.xml. Okay. Within the pom.xml, you open that pom.xml. Okay. And here under properties, you can pass. So you can say attach mule sources. Okay and just pass values true. 
Okay, let me check. Attach M capital S capital sources true. Save this. Okay, and now you don't need to pass that flag. Okay, so just go ahead and say MN clean package. Either you can pass that flag over here in the Maven command, or you can set that property inside your form.xml. Let it build the jar. So let me delete this project first. Okay, delete. I don't want. Now again, we'll build the jar, right? So let's see. Build successful. Go ahead. Same steps will follow. Import jar. Go to the target directory. Select the jar again. Finish. Yeah, that's the trick, guys. Either you can pass the flag on your Maven command, the way we passed it, okay? Or you can go to your form.xml and set this property, okay? Very useful uh, when you wanted to see what code uh, is deployed on your machine, uh, on your uh, uh, Cloud Hub or Cloud Hub 2.0. This is very important to uh, see the code, okay? Yeah, that's all I wanted to show, uh, you know, as part of this session. Hope you like the session. You, If you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.